sirens rang out over eastern Ukraine. As the leaders of local pro-Russian governments told women and children to flee and men to take up arms. I have to leave my home, my apartment because of all of this, said this Russian-speaking resident. 700,000 civilians are reportedly headed to the border as the self-proclaimed leader of the separatists released a pre-recorded video. A mass centralized evacuation of the population to the Russian Federation has been organized, he claimed. Evidence is growing that it may all be part of a Kremlin plan to manufacture a pretext for invasion. A vehicle exploded in Donetsk near a pro-Russian government building, what the U.S. State Department called a false flag. And Ukrainian intelligence warned Russia was prepared to carry out terrorist bombings that would then be blamed on Ukraine. They will absolutely manufacture an operation in order to create the narrative that they want um, to, to gain the political outcomes that they're looking for. The prospects for avoiding war seem increasingly dim. In Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden reiterated the dire consequences Russia would face after a call with Prime Minister Trudeau and other NATO allies. Russia has a choice between war and all the suffering it will bring, or diplomacy that will make a future safer for everyone. Adding to the tension, Russia has massive nuclear drills planned for the weekend.